Hi everyone, welcome to my video series on VXLAN configuration on Cisco Nexus switches. In the previous video also I have used uh, same setup. Uh, in the previous video I have configured the, the VTAP using uh, peer IP and in this setup I will be using multicast for uh, identifying the VTAP peers. Okay. The configuration difference would be we need to enable the PIM feature in the Nexus then we need to give IP PIM sparse mode on all the OSPF interfaces then we need to configure a rendezvous point which is going to be another loopback interface loopback one I will be configuring which will be having same IP on both switches then in uh, VNE interface we need to give uh, the uh, multicast IP for uh, communication that also is going to be the same IP okay so we'll start the configuration we'll open nexus one so you can see here we don't have any configuration so i'll enable the pim feature for ospf to support feature ospf then this is for VXLAN yeah now we'll start configuring the interface E1 is going to connect to the E1 of Nexus 2 is slash phone IP address IP is going to be under dot one slash thirty okay uh, yeah we need to create even the OSPF instance so router OSPF ten and then I'll go to E1 IP router OSPF 10 area 0 and uh, IP PIM sparse mode for multicast to work ok we'll uh, go to Nexus 2 and configure the same We will try reaching to Nexus 1 from here. Yeah, it is reachable. Okay, so for VTAP, we will be configuring loopback 0 here. Interface loopback 0. IP is going to be slash 32. adding to the same OSPF instance we will enable the multicast IP is going to be 20 dot 20 
so similar way we'll be configuring another loopback called a loopback one uh, for uh, acting as a rendezvous point for uh, multicast work IP address is going to be 12. .12. same thing I want to configure here also okay so from here we'll try to reach to the low back zero of uh, Nexus OS 1 I'm able to reach okay next we'll be creating VLAN and assign the ports e1 slash 2 on both switches okay first we'll create VLAN VLAN 50 You will assign even the VNI also. VNI is going to be 5000 and uh, interface C. Same thing on uh, next so is 2 million 50. VN segment okay now we'll configure the multicast in both switches so the command is going to be IP IP pim we'll be defining the RP address address it is going to be 12.1 here okay 12. 12. 12. 12. group list and uh, prefix length we need to give we we'll give 224.0.0.0 slash 4 ok that is a multicast subnet next command is ip pim any case rp yeah any case rp also going to be the same okay so here we'll give the another interface similar way we need to give 20 as well ok from here we will try to ping to 20 
Uh, the reason why it was not pinging is I have assigned uh, the rendezvous point IP to loop by zero by mistake. So now I have configured everything uh, properly. So we'll try reaching now. It is reachable now. And uh, we can check the routing. So the multicast you need to configure in the same way here as well. So I'll just copy paste it. Now we need to configure the NVE interface. So interface NVE1 and source interface is going to be the loop by zero, which is going to be which is 10.10.10.10 and uh, next command is member VNI VNI is going to be 5000 multicast group I can give IP to 39 dot okay. or to 30 dot 1 We'll copy paste same config there. Now configuration is completed. We'll do the testing from both PCs. Okay, I'll go to 50.1. Show IP. You can see it is having IP of 50.1.1.1, and I haven't configured any gateway, so it can communicate only to the same subnet. Even in PC2 also, I have 50.2 IP, so I'll try ping to 50.2 from here. I'm able to reach. Okay, we'll verify the config uh, once again in Nexus switches. So we have enabled all these four features then uh, created vlan then configured uh, the multicast then interfaces we have enabled uh, ip pin sparse mode then we have two low bats one is acting as vtap and another is as working as uh, rendezvous point for multicast that's all uh, for uh, verification of uh, Meet up. Uh, we can give the command show nve ps detail. We can see nve is up with the peer uh, 20 dot 20 and uh, the vni is 5000. And another command is show nve vni. data plane here uh, you can see it is using multicast and it is in uh, l2 mode and with the vlan id 50 and the vn id is 5000 okay uh, in the next video i'll be configuring uh, spine leaf architecture with uh, cisco nexus switches and i'll be configuring uh, vxlan as an overlay network for that Okay, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.